Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about rotate timings, for example, rotating early or rotating late, and the benefits and downfalls of each of them. So I hope you enjoy the video. I have some custom gameplay playing in the background, so enjoy that and enjoy the video. One of the biggest misconceptions that I had when I first started scrimming was that rotating late was the best thing to do. And I thought this because I thought, hey, if people aren't going to be behind me, it's going to set me up better. But the more that I played, the more that I realized rotating early is actually better in most cases, considering the fact that you can have a really good outlook on what's going on in the match. And for me, I personally like that because I'm somebody who wants to know what's going on. And while I'm rotating to zone, I can see what's happening and saying, all right, can I push height in this circle? Can I push height now? Can I do this? Can I do that? And getting a good read on what's going on in the match is what is very important to me and will help me judge what I want to do. For example, I take height here because I didn't see anybody else up on height that was close to me. And I have an RPG, so if I have to, I can take down some builds. But I don't really have to for the most part. And what you'll see here in a second is coming down from the mountain people fighting in storm they have to fight another player as well build down from the mountain and that was pretty easy for me to take out the builds and clean them up as I'm already in zone and I'm on height so I have a pretty big advantage like I said rotating late isn't always a terrible option for example if you don't have much shield to tank shots or you have no mats or not many sometimes rotating late will be beneficial as you can use other players builds to kind of protect some angles but you also have to be very careful because that puts you at a huge disadvantage considering none of the edits are yours and none of the builds so while it's risky sometimes it may be your only option now there's a couple different ways you can improve your rotations outside of gameplay and one that i think is very important is watching pro players there's basically every pro that plays is streaming on some sort of platform or putting out videos so it's really easy to get a lot of gameplay and with the pop-up cups and also with Katowice and the secret skirmish, I'm sure we're going to get a lot of pro level gameplay coming out soon. So I definitely recommend tuning into as many streams and as much content as you can because all that's going to be beneficial to you as that's honestly one of the best ways to learn as they're already established pros and they know what they're doing. So that's a really great way to pick up a lot of tips and little things that you might not have thought about yourself right away. Another fun and less stressful way to practice these late games is to join my Discord and get involved with the Zone Wars that we've been hosting on there. I'm sure most of you have seen my other videos on the topic as I made one yesterday about it and I think they are a blast and it's a lot faster pace considering the fact you don't have to farm mats and run around the map for like 20 minutes beforehand. It's really more you're getting into the game and you're fighting from zone to zone and it's a ton of fun, so I definitely recommend joining the Discord. It will be linked down below and hopping into some games with us. Alright, so that's going to be the end of the video there, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I know it was a little bit of a shorter video, but I had a pretty busy weekend. And I wanted to get something out to you guys. I know a couple of you were asking about rotating and stuff. So I thought I would kind of put something out there at least for you guys to watch. And let me tell you, I got pretty lucky there if you guys see <laughs> not one health. And uh, right here, I thought that was my floor, and then he bought me. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.